how to make or how I made a router table. Let's get into it. As a quick recap of the last episode, I built the base using 4x4 legs and 2x4 frames. And use particle board and plywood to build out the lower cabinet structure and downdraft table. If you missed it, click the link in the top right for the full DIY. Okay, on to the new stuff. I started the router table side of the workbench by cross bracing the interior side of what would be the router table surface. Then use three quarter inch ply to frame out the lower cabinet. I secured it in place by both anchoring it to the legs on the outer face and used pocket holes into the base to secure the interior face. Next came the drawer for all the router bits and bolts. I did a very basic ply drawer. Using a finishing gun to create the box. Then I measured and marked the height at which the drawer hardware would be anchored, ensuring there was enough clearance for the router to hang below the table surface. I used some guide screws as an extra pair of hands. Then placed the drawer hardware. I secured the mirroring hardware on the drawer and then slid it into place. After that, I whipped up a quick drawer face. And a few floating dividers I'd used to keep my trim bits away from the big router bits and all the bolts and hardware. I chose to enclose the drawer as it'd be sitting below a mega dust maker, and I opted for two separate panels so I wouldn't have to find a spot for a big annoying panel anytime I wanted to find a bit. Next, I turn to another organizer piece. I don't know about you, but anytime I want to swap a bit, finding the dang wrenches in the drawer is like finding Waldo. So I used the drill press to sink a few slots in a 2x4. Then I anchored it between the legs of the bench. Lost no more. And for the heck of it, I gave the workbench a makeover. Because why not? Time for the tabletop inserts. I cut three pieces of particle board down to size, one for just a plain work surface, and two others I'll turn into router inserts. For the first router insert, I started by finding center and then marking off the router insert plate I stripped from an old benchtop router table. Then, to set up my routing guide, I measured and marked a perimeter 1 and 3 eighths of an inch away from the edge of the insert plate edge. I used particle board offcuts to make my guide. Then, in three passes, cut the outer edge of the insert plate recess. Using two identical offcuts, I created a router sled to create the rest of the recess. Time to test fit. With a nice snug fit, I marked the interior circle. Then use a Forstner and Jigsaw to clear the way. After that, I marked and drilled space for the anchoring bolts and space for the tabletop height adjustment port. 
With those all roughed in, I anchored the insert plate into place. Then use a similar fencing technique to clear the path for a miter gauge track. Another test fit, but not anchoring yet. First, I needed to cut the dovetail tracks for the fence. Again, stripping another piece from an old benchtop router table, I marked the pre-drilled holes on the fence to establish the placement of the tracks. Then, fenced the cut line, and in three passes with the straight bit, cut a relief before swapping in the dovetail bit for the final pass. I tested the dovetail bolts. Perfect. Then, cut a second track. To finish off the cuts for this surface, I used a Forstner bit to cut a quick recess to make swapping the inserts a little bit easier. With all those cuts in, I gave the surface a quick high gloss coat just to seal it and maybe help relieve a small amount of friction. Once that dried, I screwed in the miter gauge track. Place the fence in dust collection. anchored the router housing, set the bit height, and voila! Using pretty similar methods, I made a tabletop insert for my trim router too. But if you want to check out how I made this nifty little miter gauge or just see more behind the scenes footage, join us over on Patreon. We like to have a good time. Next time, I finally get rid of these beat up bench tops and swap them for a proper woodworking bench. Until next time.